Good morning from Miami. We are live outside of Hard Rock Stadium, just days away from the Super Bowl, and the Kansas City Chiefs getting ready to celebrate so many historic milestones, 50 years since their last trip to the Super Bowl. We are also just days away from the 20th anniversary of losing a Kansas City icon who would have loved all of this, but the legacy of Derek Thomas lives on. Five decades since their last trip to the Super Bowl, Burgundy Thomas is thrilled the Chiefs made it this far. Because they wanted it. They showed they wanted it. They had that drive and look where we're at. We're in Miami. Miami, her father's hometown. Derek Thomas, the Chiefs star and Casey icon we lost 20 years ago next week. That timing is bittersweet. It was, you know, hard, but at the same time, it's a blessing. I'm so happy that they're finally here. I just really wish he would have been here to see it. Even if he's retired, I wish he would have been here. Thomas died days after a car crash in 2000, devastating the Kansas City community. He wasn't only a football player, he was a human. He cared about the community. Something he showed through his third and long foundation started 10 years before. His whole love was these kids and making sure that they could read and write and experience life. Willard was a teacher when she connected with Thomas. Three decades later, the foundation is still working with kids through literacy programs and scholarships. Close teammate Neil Smith carrying on the work. In 30 years, we still see 58 kids every year. Some of them are lawyers, doctors, we have school board members. Honoring number 58 with every one. When he uh, passed, I just felt like he always kept saying, you can't give up, you can't quit. And so none of us have. I love that. I love that. It keeps him alive. We don't only keep him alive with us, but the city of Kansas City keeps him alive as well. And you know, when he passed, more than 20,000 fans went to Arrowhead to pay their respects. And his daughter also said she loves when she'll uh, catch a Chiefs game on TV or shows on ESPN. And she occasionally catches glimpse of fans wearing his jersey, number 58. Because, Taylor, you and I know he was an incredible, incredible player as sure. well. Nine times to the Pro Bowl, an All-American, inducted into the uh, Pro Bowl uh, Hall of Fame posthumously in 2009, so Absolutely. an amazing man in the community and an amazing football player as well.